Okay, this is what I'm running for the 10 meter bulletin board, an uh, MFJ 1274 TNC, the uh, HR2510, the uh, dozy watt meter is there just for to, to let you see the output, to, uh, so you'll know when it's transmitting, and a very old laptop. Uh, that was a five dollar hamfest find, and as you can see, there's no uh, no battery in it, and uh, the floppy I gutted it out of there because it doesn't work either. So anyway, it's just an old beater, but it works fine for this purpose. And uh, that's that's another thing about this uh, mode, is uh, equipment is cheap and it can be dinosaur equipment. So once you get it all hooked up, the TNC to the uh, rig, and then the uh, TNC uh, serial interface to the computer, uh, what you would do is, I have this on, uh, it's already powered up, booted up, it's in a C prompt. Let's see if I can get the camera right. Okay, so we're going to run our COM program to talk to the TNC, and I use MFJCOM, which is ancient, but that's what I learned on and I'm familiar with. Uh, any, I think any COM, pro uh, COM program will work, uh, even Hyper Terminal, so I don't even think you have to load anything new into your machine. But anyway, here we go. We'll do a MFJCOM, fire up the program, uh, hit any key to start. Spacebar, and then turn the uh, terminal node controller on, and it will sign on. If it doesn't, then there's uh, a baud rate issue between the uh, computer and the TNC, uh, which is easily resolved. But uh, anyway, there it is signed on, and you're in command mode. And uh, from that, you can uh, change the call sign in it, which is probably the first thing you should do. And the command is M Y. C A L L my call space and then whatever your call sign is and I'm going to put in KB seven DX dash one since it's a uh, bulletin board slash mailbox and it already was DX dash one so there we go that's the initial setup okay on the other end of this uh, I have mixed W fired up and uh, after about two hours of messing with it I finally got it to uh, transmit and uh, and operate semi-correctly and I'll explain what I mean by semi-correctly here in, in just a few minutes but I've got it uh, hooked onto the 706 and it's also on uh, 28105 so we've got a little network not necessarily network but uh, at least a way to make a two-way QSO here to uh, show you what it's like so anyway this is what I'm going to run on the other end I'm going to put the camera back over on the old dinosaur and uh, you can see it all from that end Okay, I have this station now in the mailbox mode, and it's listening for a connect. Uh, I have the connect alarm on, and also have the buffer on, which will capture uh, characters. Uh, and this is handy if uh, you just want to monitor the frequency and uh, capture any traffic that is uh, on the frequency. And uh, it's kind of like a trail cam for packet. But anyway, I'm going to spin around here and uh, use the 706 and mix W t to connect to this mailbox and uh, you can watch how it uh, transmits back and forth and, and acknowledges the uh, packets and so forth. Anyway, here it goes. Okay, now you can see the uh, con light is on. That means we're connected. Uh, this station has just sent back the uh, commands list for the mailbox, and that's what you see at the last line of text there in the upper window. So uh, we'll hit L for list and see if there's any messages on this board. None found. And yeah, as you may remember from the uh, text in the write-up, that uh, once you're connected with the station, you automatically go to converse mode. And uh, so that's how the uh, mailbox can read your command uh, since you're not sending it uh, another command. I guess that didn't quite come out right, but you get the idea. Once you get in the uh, connect uh, uh, operating mode, uh, everything else is just uh, straight text back and forth. Okay, since we uh, have no messages in this box, we will go ahead and disconnect 
and uh, we'll do that over here us using the B command, which means buy. And the stations transmit back and forth occasionally to make sure each other is still there. So uh, that's why you hear it transmitting back and forth on its own. But we'll send it the B command. And we're now disconnected from the uh, KB7DX personal mailbox. Okay, now from the mixed W side, and this this will what uh, this is what the end user will see. So with mixed W, you have to come to mode, and then down to connect. Well, obviously you would go to packet mode first, and then select what uh, baud rate and so forth you're going to use, which we're using 300 baud now. And then we'll come down to connect. This will bring up a box. You, this will be your call sign. And then this will be who you want to connect to, which apparently is the remote station nowadays. So we'll hit connect. You'll hear this uh, side transmit. Uh, my other side, uh, you'll hear the alarm bell go off, and ooh, it will come back and uh, say we're connected. And it will also spit up, as you can see right here, the uh, mailbox commands. Okay, there's our list of commands, and we'll do the same thing. List. Oh, same thing, not found. Okay, nothing found. There's nothing in the mailbox over there, and I'll explain why in just a minute. But uh, <laughs> to send a message, what you do is you push uh, uh, S, space, which means send, and then the address of where you'd want the call to go, or the uh, message to go. And in this case, we're going to put all, A-L-L. -L. And what this would do would be to send a message network-wide that anybody could read. Now it wants a title. And we're going to put a R-R. Oops. R-R. test. Send message con uh, control Z to end. So here it is. Uh, hello, our commerce. Okay, it received that line of text and it's ready for more. You could input, you know, quite a bit of text, but I uh, would probably limit it to uh, one or two sentences max. Uh, probably eight or ten words max before you hit carriage return and uh, maybe three lines of that would uh, have a, a pretty good chance of getting through. Uh, now at this point, you would send a control Z. You'd push control Z on your keyboard and hit enter. And that would tell the, the uh, mailbox on the other end your text was done and to save and pass along the message and it would sp uh, spit back another command line. The problem is I can't figure out how to send a control Z from this end. So <laughs> that's why I haven't been able to complete any messages and leave them in the mailbox to list out. So at uh, this point, I guess I'll shut this side down and, and uh, try to figure out how to send a control Z.